Okay, well, thanks, thanks everybody for uh, coming by. Um, I want to talk just a little bit about some of the things that are going on here at Clemson as it relates to our athletic department, then I'll be happy to take any, any of your questions. Uh, we are uh, moving forward with a number of our facility initiatives, some of which uh, right now, although with today's weather, probably not a lot of work being done on our baseball facility, uh, but that project is moving along on time. Uh, we will be uh, set to open some, some new uh, ground level uh, box seats for this uh, baseball season. And then during the season, we'll be able to move into uh, the uh, down the right field line player development area, locker rooms, coaches' offices, meeting areas, all along that side. So that project is moving along well. At the end of this football season, we'll have two projects going on here in Memorial Stadium. Number one, uh, we will be building out the west end zone with the Oculus uh, feature that was always kind of planned for this uh, building. Uh, but that feature will have a little bit of a twist to it, a little practical twist. It will have a bridge inside of it that will be able to allow fans from the north side of the stadium to traverse very easily to the south end. And uh, one of the things that we wanted to do as we were putting this project together is have a practical application for it. Because while it's a nice architectural feature, uh, that was not something that was foremost in our mind. We wanted to make sure that if you park up in the parking lot 6, 10 area uh, over here to the right, that no longer do you have to walk down a hill to walk up a hill to walk up some stairs to get to the uh, lower north area if that happens to be where your seats are. So now you'll be able to come into gate 13, walk through the uh, bridge, through the oculus, and make your way uh, over to the north end of the stadium. The other project that we're going to be working on uh, at the same time, we're going to be redoing all of our suites on the north side of the stadium, uh, as well as creating a sideline club area uh, associated with uh, the south end of the stadium, as well as redoing suites on, on that side of the stadium as well. Uh, we're going to be enclosing the concourses for all of those suites so that uh, you know, right now you walk outside the door of a suite, you're in open air. Uh, we'll be enclosing that concourse area so that it'll have more of a hotel rather than a motel uh, feel for those suites. So that's another project that will be going on at uh, that time. Come May, uh, everything is on time and, and progressing very well with our Little John uh, renovation project. Uh, that is, as I said, uh, slated to begin in May. Uh, we're working with the architects and the contractors right now on that particular facility. And then we're going to be getting the be beginning the process of looking at our football operations center, uh, which will be located uh, in the Jervy Meadows area adjacent to the indoor facility so that when that facility is complete, the football, uh, entire football operations area will move there so our student athletes and coaches will be together, uh, their offices, their weight room, training room, indoor practice facility and practice area all uh, in, in, one, in, in one area of our uh, department. Uh, just a quick update on some things uh, going on this uh, fall. Our women's soccer program is ranked 18th, doing incredibly well. Very happy for Coach Eddie and, and his young women. Uh, our men's soccer program has an RPI of 30. Uh, they're sitting at 500 right now. Tonight's game against Coastal uh, Carolina has been uh, postponed uh, because of the weather. But they're, uh, they're right in the thick of things as it relates to the ACC uh, race as is our women's volleyball program. Uh, again, they, they had a couple of big wins this weekend and are in the thick of the ACC race. Uh, that's probably the, the, the stuff that I had for you for all, so uh, 